I'll get in touch with you. Hello, Grand Row Hotel. Uh, what the inlays and what the rain is. Yeah, man, you push this. I'm done with it. What makes you think I want to push it? Listen, dickhead, I pushed it all the way here. Should we just go in? I said eight, it's only ten to. We'll wait. It's only ten minutes, just do it. I'd like to be punctual. Fine. So come on. How often do you think about it? Think about what? You know. Never. It's never crossed your mind. Of course it has. It, it worries me. But I don't like to worry, so I don't think about it. What do you reckon happens? How do I know? I'm not asking if you know, I'm asking your thoughts on what happens after you die. You're just gone, it's like... like being asleep. You don't believe in God? No. Why? Why should I? There's someone to turn to when times are bad. I mean, even if there's nothing at the end, it's good to have hope. If there was a God, then all the bad things that go on in the world why does he let that happen? Stephen Hawking said that he wouldn't be able to interact with us, that he's created law in this universe and that he's prevented from interacting. It's Stephen Hawkins, isn't it? No, it's Hawking. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's Hawkins. I can assure you it's Hawking. Do you ever think how some things in life are so pointless? Well, that question you asked me right there has absolutely no importance. This time in a hundred years, it won't even matter. It'll be completely erased. Mate, it'll be forgotten about this time tomorrow. And what do you mean, God can't interact with the laws? What do you mean, like, criminal laws? You really are a dumbass, you know that. Oh, don't give me that shit, John. And besides, you don't need brains in our business. Law, as in gravity and whatnot, and just the way the universe works. Do you realise how unbelievably minuscule the chances of being born are? No. How many zeros are there in a million? <sighs> what is this? Just answer it, man. Six. Right, okay. Now, take the number six and add 96 zeros to it. Now, that's the chances of you being born on your father's side going back 250 years. Where'd you get all this stuff? Now, think of the number 18 and add 403,166 zeros to it. Now, that's the chances of you being born on your father's side going back a million years. You still gotta look at your mother's side and Stuff like the chances of your ancestors dying of war or disease or, you know. No. You know. No what? Our father's ringing the bell. Peeling the banana. Jerking themselves oh, off. Geez. It's a big factor to consider. Who the fuck says ringing the bell or peeling the banana? Neither of them make any sense. Anyway, to, to calculate how often they did it and for us and our ancestors to be in the right load of sperm is again microscopic. John, I don't want to be thinking about me old man going down on himself. Not to mention, we're up against billions of other sperm in that load. So for us to win, is literally billions to one. Is there a point to all this? I just think the chances of being born are just too small for there to be no God. Is that it? And that life should be appreciated. I mean, the odds of being able to live aren't calculable. 
You're deep, man. Stop thinking so much. I don't know how you can just... You're only feeling like this because it's your first time. I don't know why you put him for this job in the first place. You obviously don't want to do it. Need the money. 